for Scott Fardy. He's the unsung hero on that back right, but a brilliant player. He's in a fantastic tournament. 2009, and the way I felt, I was, I was probably a bit frustrated. I couldn't get a run in Super Rugby, and I got an option to go to the Sea Waves. I think it's a, it's a proud rugby area in Kamaishi and for a long history of success. Well, Scott came to Kamaishi while I was there, and it was the start of, of something special. The fans got to know Scott Fardy, and they thoroughly loved how he embraced the culture, and he won respect and popularity within Kamaishi, but also in Japan. It was just the start of spring season training when um, the tsunami hit. As I ran out, I grabbed my phone, I sent a text and, you know, massive earthquake. You see people's whole livelihoods gone in a day or in an instant. Things, the houses and things they've built their whole life, you know, families torn apart. The embassy turned up and said, we can get you out of here if you want to get you on flights back to Australia. I remember having the conversation and I was like saying, we can't go, like, we can't just leave now. I think that's part of the ethos is rugby. It's a team effort and rugby people are like that. You know, they don't turn their back on people when things are tough. We all jumped in our Kamaishi tracksuit and, and went down there and, and just unloaded trucks and tried to help out where we can. His compassionate side was huge in terms of how he was just able to, to, to make sure he provided for others rather than himself. That really caring, that really soft side came out during that time. Trying to get back to normal as quick as people could, I think, was, was important. And the team playing, maybe that signified that. I guess the team became the symbol of the recovery. It was emotional. It was an emotional season for the people and, and for us players as well. I think to have a World Cup game played in, in Kamaishi, I think it's going to be an incredibly special moment of the World Cup and something people will always remember.